Hey guys, welcome to Wonderville Studios. Guess what day it is? That's right, it's the day where everything gets random. The bucket of words. Kinda not my favorite, just because last week was so bad. Hoping this week the word's a little better. Um, but you know, that's part of the whole idea of it being random, is I really don't know what's happening. And just like life, sometimes things happen that we can't control. So, um, yeah, I am going to reach in the bucket here, as you can see. I have no clue what these words are. And today's word. Let me set this here. Last week, I totally flung the bucket everywhere, if you remember. Oh, man. Uh, this week's word is information. Um, like, seriously, these words keep getting worse. Information. So, um, yeah. So that's the word. So let's get some markers and some paper, and we're going to, uh, I'm going to give you some information about drawing a doodle off of the word information. Should be fun. <laughs> Yay. All right, guys, let's see here. Information, information, information. Another one of those kind of vague words. Um, I can kind of think of a couple things when I think information, books, um, you know, papers, computers, you know, phones. When I was younger, they used to call information to get a phone number. Um, I don't even know if that, ex that still exists. Does that still exist? I don't, I don't think it's, I mean, maybe. I doubt it because they got the Google now. Google has everything. Um, all right, so information. <sighs> I got to stop thinking about it and just draw it. I mean, that's the point, right? The whole point of this is you get this thrown at you at random and you have to come up with something right now. Um, and I'm drawing a huge blank. All right, so I'm, I'm, I'm going. I can't do this. I mean, the whole point is that you're, you don't set and wait. Um, so I'm going to start with... A book kind of guy here. All right. You know, last week was like such a huge fail for me. <laughs> it, you know, um, I, yeah, I don't know, whatever. I mean, I saw that a couple people thought that it wasn't really a fail and, you know, um, all that stuff like that. But for me, it was just like such a huge, huge fail that, uh, you know, Twofold, it was really nice to finally have one that just didn't work. And, and you know, so you can see that I don't edit this whole thing. And, um, you know, it's, it's nice for you guys to see that sometimes things just don't always go the way you want them to go when you're drawing stuff. And, you know, no matter how you practice, you know, just sometimes they don't uh, work out right for you. Um, like, for example, right now, so far, I don't like this even a little bit, um, but stick with it because I think I can turn it into something here. Um, I'm going to keep going. So yeah, you know, we, we, we tend to think that, you know, always, um, you know, artists and people that we see do these things, make all this stuff look really easy. Um, and which is true. I mean, I think that, you know, um, People see, you know, the doodles I do and things like that and how quickly they can be done. And, you know, everybody assumes that it's easy. But, you know, the, the big thing, guys, and, you know, I know that I say this in every video that I do. Um, it's the amount of practice that goes into this. Um, you know, there's a lot of hours into all of this to be able to do this, right? Um, this It just doesn't happen. Um Oh man, I really screwed that up. That was supposed to be a bookworm. <laughs> oh, well, you know, um, two in a row, uh, being horrible. Um, it, it, it happens. I mean, um, jeez. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, that was supposed to be a bookworm. Instead, it looks like a a, a, a snake smoke ghost. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn him into a ghost. He's a ghost. 
He's a super smart ghost. All right, let's roll with it. Roll with it. This is how it works. So I'm gonna put a G on him so we know that's a ghost. This isn't a bookworm. That's a ghost. Okay. Sometimes accidents happen. All right. Um, this guy's really smart. He's gonna have his glasses on. He's a uh, he's a book he's a book guy. He's a you know he's a book guy. He's full of information. I mean, duh. Book guys, books, information, you know, you read, information, do you guys remember what books are? Um, you know, if you put down the computer sometimes, you would know what books are. So I'm going to try to salvage this thing here. I'm going to add in a bunch of characters, doing a bunch of smart things, because I feel like information, the more information you have, the smarter you are. So um, I'm going to add in a guy right here that is looking super smart I don't know why glasses I wear glasses um, and I'm not super smart but I guess when I put them on because I usually wear contacts when I put glasses on I feel like maybe I'm super smart because um, it makes me look smart um, but you know he is going to be thinking right so we put these little thought bubbles here and he's going to be pondering questions like why did this guy draw this kind of stuff for information now if you're playing a home up you know i hope that you guys are having better luck with than than i am at, at coming up with um a good drawing for information um yeah you, you know like it's frustrating sometimes, you know, it, it's really, really hard when you do something creative and it just doesn't work. Um, man, I can't tell you how frustrating it is, but you know, just you, you got to keep, you got to keep moving. I mean, um, this is just a drawing. It's not the end of my life. It's not the end of the world. It's not good by any means. Um, there's nothing here. I think the 10 second doodle yesterday, um, had more stuff going on in it or not yesterday Tuesday yesterday was a 75 foot doodle but yesterday um, uh, there's more going on in that that you know looked good to me than what's going on here but you know again um, it, it's part of the whole deal it's part of the practice it's part of doing this whole thing it's part of putting this stuff out there you know guys like I, I you know I, I don't pick up this pencil and, and these markers and think every single time it's always going to be great but I do show up every time and I think that's what's most important it's the practice it's the trying it's the it's the embracing the bad you know embracing the suck embracing the things that just stink the things that like just part of life that just really stinks. Because guess what? That's part of the journey too. The pain, the struggle, the wishing that you could get there, all that stuff like that. That's all part of this, right? Everything in your life doesn't always go great, and that's okay. You know, but the, the big thing is that you kind of keep that positive attitude, you know. Um, so yeah, I, I look at this as like this. All right, I picked information, not a word I was great that that really made me happy. But I tried. I feel like I failed, and that's okay. Not every single drawing is fantastic. So, um, yeah, it is what it is. There's a couple things like this guy's kind of neat. I do kind of like the ghost bookwormy kind of guy a little bit. Um, this guy did not match what I was thinking of, but that's all right. So, I am going to sign it like I always do because that's what we do. And just say, like, you know, Talking about information. Here's some information for you. All right. In life, things are going to be thrown at you at random parts. And that's how it works. Sometimes you're going to win and sometimes you're going to lose. But the big thing is that you try and you live it. It's you chase it because don't sit around and waiting for things to happen for you. Right? Be the one that makes those things happen Happen for you and to you because you went out and you told somebody hey I'm chasing this dream because random things happen in life and they do sometimes fall your way and sometimes they don't but the cool part is, is that you show up so if you're playing at home I hope that yours turned out better than mine did sometimes it just doesn't work today's one example so
Anyway, in closing, I will hope that all of you wake up tomorrow and you're happy. You're being positive and you're being that weird in the world because that weird stuff that's stuck inside your melon is exactly what the world is waiting to see. You're going to do amazing things and I cannot wait to see what kind of things come out of the people watching this stuff. Random things happen. Sometimes they fail. Sometimes you win. The most important part is that you try. So I will see you on the flip side. See you tomorrow. Hey guys, if you like that random video, do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button down there. It makes me happy. And that's fun. Everybody likes to be happy and everybody deserves to be happy. So hit that like and subscribe button and watch all the videos daily. Magic.